Sadichi is essentially all about identity. Who are you when you're online? Is it really you or is it somebody pretending to be you? Sadichi was originally designed to eliminate the need to transmit or to store passwords. So the risk from a business owner having to store hundreds of thousands or millions of passwords uh, is taken away. We started looking at other applications in addition to passwords and we started seeing areas where keeping information private um, was going to be really important. Things like your credit card. What if I could keep your credit card private in the course of a, an online transaction. Well, our process essentially allows you to prove that information, uh, that you have it, you're in control of it, without exposing it. I think key attributes that most innovators have are a willingness to challenge the status quo. Um, don't accept just because that is the way it is today, that ne that necessarily has to be the way it always has to be. Today, our company is very small, um, but in a year's time, two years' time, the potential for it uh, is very large. Everybody has an identity, and the way our identities are, con are consumed today are vastly different to how they were consumed 20 or 30 years ago. Everything back then was paper, and it was very easy for you to collect all your papers and put them into a safe or a safe place. Um, and manage and organize them. Today, because we uh, interact digitally, it's very easy for our identities to uh, leak to places we don't expect them to be. Um, it's very hard for us today to be able to manage those identities. And what we have come up with in Sidichi is a way for people to manage their identity and do it in a way that is privacy preserving. We can keep information private when we decide that that is what we want to do, but equally we can decide to share it if that's the other thing that we want to do.